In a move that is simply beneath the dignity of the Oval Office, it appears that the Obama administration altered for political gain the monthly jobs report. Now less than 36 hours after the president was crushed at the Denver debate, the Labor Department has announced that the unemployment rate magically dropped to 7.8% in September. In addition, the number of people who found jobs last month registered at more than 800,000. And wouldn't you know it, that is one of the biggest one-month jumps in 29 years. Let me say this one more time. The biggest jump since 1983. Pretty convenient considering that Barack Obama currently finds himself in the midst of perhaps the worst political week of his life. Now, while the president claims that this unexpected news is a sign that America is, quote, moving forward, there are a growing number of skeptics that are now crying foul. Chief among them is former GE CEO Jack Welch. He tweeted this out. Unbelievable job numbers. These Chicago guys will do anything they can't debate. So they changed the numbers. Now, he appeared earlier today on Your World. These numbers don't smell right when you think about where the economy is right now. But every economist this morning predicted roughly 90 to 120,000 and 8.2 unemployment. This economy doesn't feel like the employment improved this, this level. And it's just, maybe it's a coincidence. At the month before the election, we have a number that comes out one-tenth below when the president took office. Now, Jack Welch is not the only one chalking up this timely development to Chicago-style politics. Now, listen to what one business insider told Stuart Varney this morning on Fox Business Network. I feel like I'm watching a movie, a suspense movie, because there, there is no way in the world these numbers are accurate, and somebody needs to dig real deep into this. I mean, how in the world, miraculously, we have the best rise in 30 years, right before the election, Stuart? Somebody needs to do an investigation. And just like they're doing an investigation in Libya, they need to investigate these numbers because there's no way in the world these numbers are accurate. Well, let's see, the same administration that has not been telling the truth about Benghazi and Libya and the death of four Americans, there are some very important questions that need to be asked of the Obama administration. Because when you look at the hard data, there is no way to explain how the rate decreased from 8.1% to 7.8%. And as the former director of the nonpartisan CBO put it, it is simply implausible. Now, a few things to keep in mind. Number one, the real unemployment rate remains unchanged. That is 14.6%. Now, remember, this number includes people who have left the labor force because they cannot find a job, and guess what? They're no longer counted anymore. They're just, like, non-existent. It is exactly the same number that it was a month ago. Number two, the real number of unemployed or underemployed actually increased by 100,000 since last month and now stands at 23.2 million Americans. Now, here's how that number is broken down. 12 million people are unemployed. Two and a half million people want work but have given up and they are no longer counted and nearly nine million people are working part-time because they cannot find a full-time job now this is what president obama calls moving forward now there are more americans unemployed underemployed than last month and the month before that that is just a fact what is also a fact is that barack obama promised you that by this time if his stimulus plan was passed remember shovel ready jobs uh, shovels hitting the ground he predicted, he told you, that unemployment would stand at 5.6% at this time. So to be sure, the national nightmare that is the Obama economy continues, well, despite the bogus jobs and what it tells you. And in 32 days, we will all have the opportunity to go to the polls and do something about this.